and be part of this family. Now, Terry, when we left for break, you were sharing a little bit about how you got to know Jesus. Yes. Unfortunately, it was during a tragedy. Yeah. And mm -hmm. now you mm -hmm. are, uh, your life has turned around. Mm -hmm. You are an mm -hmm. author, a mother, an international speaker, an entrepreneur. It didn't all start that way. You're now into essential oils, mm -hmm. and I kind of want to hear your story of how you got into essential oils, because it was, I want to say it was accidental, but it was really the Holy Spirit, probably. Yes, yes. You know, I always wondered what the definition of a miracle was mm -hmm. until I had this experience, and I, I feel now like a miracle is when you absolutely don't know what to do. You mm -hmm. are just beside yourself, and you cry out to God, and you say, help me. Mm -hmm. And he does something that you couldn't do on your own. So mm -hmm. this is what happened is um, I was pregnant with our third child, little Joseph, who is now 24. Mm -hmm. And um, I took an airplane flight and the doctor said it was perfectly safe. I was seven and a half months pregnant. Okay. The doctor said, oh, you can fly, you know, up until eight months. And so coming back, coming back home, when the plane went up to altitude, my stomach went out like this. Wow. And I, I was really sick and I looked down and I just knew something was drastic. So by the time we got home, I went into very heavy labor at mm. seven and a half months. Wow. The problem was that we lived an hour away from the nearest hospital. Wow. So that we had a midwife because we were into organic everything, home, home birth, birth yeah. everything. And she was timing my contractions while she was driving to the house. And she says, oh, my goodness, you're going to deliver in seven to ten minutes. His oh lungs goodness. will not be developed. Oh and she said, I'm calling a helicopter to get you to the nearest hospital. And I thought that just sounded horrible. Mm -hmm. A helicopter. I don't want to have a baby born in a helicopter. And I asked her to wait one minute before she made the call, the, call, the official call. Well, I, I was in bed, so I got out of bed. I fell to my knees, and I looked up, and I just said, Papa, I like to call him Papa. Yeah. Is there, if there's anything strong enough in this house to stop heavy labor, please show me what it is. Mm -hmm. And I had never heard the voice of God in my whole life, and I heard oil of lavender. And I thought, that's so strange, lavender. How could that help me? Right. I didn't know anything about oils. And I, I was so nervous that I didn't even remember that I had a bottle in the pantry. Right. You're having contractions. <laughs> yes, yes. I was almost hysterical. Mm -hmm. So I looked around because I thought somebody walked in the room. Somebody's talking to me and there was nobody there. Wow. That's the part that I think is a miracle. Oh, that, absolutely. Got, that I cried out. It was supernatural. It was supernatural mm. And he heard me. So my husband went to the pantry and grabbed this lavender, which had been given to us by a friend. And, and we just the fact that you remember that it was all so supernatural. Yes. Because, you know, some, you yes. know when you're not into it and you just put it away, you forget about yeah. it. Again. Well, he went in and found it. He goes, what do I do? And I said, I don't know. Just marinate me. So he marinates me like a turkey, you know. <laughs> it's a basting. And, I mean, at 25 drops. And in 45 seconds, the labor stopped. Wow. Just Boom, like that. The midwife ran into the house and she goes, I have to make that phone call. And she looks at me, she goes, hey, what happened to you? And I said, I don't know. And I was holding the bottle like this. I was shaking like that. She goes, what's that? I said, I don't know. And we just stared at each other. <laughs> so she finally examined me and she put me on bed rest for six weeks. Wow. But the only problem is every time I got out of bed to go to the restroom, I went back into labor. Oh my wow. I went into labor every day for six weeks. Now on the due date, I got out of bed and delivered a phenomenally healthy 10 pound, three ounce <laughs> baby boy. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. But now I want to ask you a question about this because yeah. another miracle, I just, I have to call this a miracle. Absolutely. There's 300 drops of oil in a bottle of essential oil, this 15 milliliter. We marinated me every day for six weeks and the oil never ran out. <laughs> that is a modern that day is amazing. It is yeah. a miracle. God multiplied yeah. the oil. And so while I was in bed with nothing to do because they wouldn't let me get out of bed, I started to study everything I could study about lavender and the 101 uses of it. And then that led me to frankincense and myrrh. Right. And I was reading the scripture like Proverbs 2120, there's a treasure mm -hmm. to be discovered in oil mm -hmm. in the dwelling of the wise. And Matthew 210, where it says, and when they opened the treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, right. frankincense, and myrrh. So I would say, Papa, are you telling me that frankincense is a liquid? Is it a liquid like lavender? 
and the Holy Spirit would answer me. And I would say, is myrrh a liquid? I didn't know anything. Sure. And now I know there's all 12 main oils, but many, if you think about the third day of creation, when God gave us all the trees, right. flowers, and shrubs, mm -hmm. there's literally hundreds of oils that we get from God's creation on the third That's day of amazing. creation. So what, uh, 